Welcome to my Let's Play of Spelunky. This is episode 12, and I'm Psychedelic Eyeball. Okay, so the bad news for this one update is that we're gonna have to do one of those playthroughs where, for the most part, you can't really hope of doing any actual progress toward getting to the secret exit because what we're gonna do next is to unlock the shortcut to the temple, which, as you probably remember, you need to bring the key that you find in the mines, you know, the one that you use in order to open the chest that has the hujat high on it, and we need to give it to the tunnel man which is waiting for us all the way down in the ice caves. But the good news is, we're gonna make this update extra festive because we have the happiest Mexican in the world in order to lead the journey. So remember, in order for you to be the most likely candidate for spelunking, you gotta spelunk and face danger head on with a smile and a nice mustache and hat. Even though ironically this is one of those characters I didn't really end up playing as that much, but the thing is, there's still better characters than him in the game, and that's the beauty of things. So why am I referring to this playthrough as being a wasted playthrough? Well, the thing is, because of the fact that we cannot open the chest that has the Ujat high on it, this will make it pretty much impossible for us to find out where the black market is, and therefore we won't be able to get the Ankh and be able to process with the rest of the convoluted process that you have to go through in order to be able to get to the secret exit. Which is definitely a bummer. Alright, mystery box time, you know we have to do this, even though it's completely unnecessary in some way, so... Did we hit the... Fuck you, shopkeeper, you are the worst! And to hell with the mystery box, I'm getting so tired of it by now. I mean, is it really so hard game to give me occasionally things like a jetpack or stuff like that? No. Instead, pay $8,000 for a parachute that costs $1,000. So we have the chest right here, but as you know, we're not gonna open it because we need to give the key to the tunnel man all the way. And once we'll have done that, we will be able to process with the rest of our adventures as if nothing happened. And don't really ask me why I didn't collect the rest of the jewels that were on the right, I kinda had the memory lapse here. Or maybe deep inside, I'm just thinking, well, this is not one playthrough in which I'm gonna do actually anything, so at this point, it doesn't really matter. You just gotta go out there, have a blast, and finally make it so that your objective is a success. And yeah, you gotta be careful with handling the key as well, because you don't really want to end up throwing your keys in such sticky situations like the one that we saw right here. And I'm not really too sure why this store is placed the way it is, but... Well, eventually I'll be able to free her buddy the slave and... Ah, oh, okay. The, that was pretty convenient, I don't know what happened there, but... Thankfully, somebody else triggered the trap for me. Honestly, the most tricky part of this uh, journey will be to get the key through the jungle, because that's pretty much where the journey will start becoming a whole lot more difficult. I mean, you won't really change the way that you approach hazards and such, but because of the fact that we have to carry the key around at all time, that kind of limits your ability in combat, and this can be a huge nuisance whenever you end up having to deal with things like the Tiki Man, as well as the Man Eating Plant, and yeah, I'm not too sure how this is supposed to work, because I'm not too sure how this one hero trap is capable of defying all laws of gravity the way it's doing right now. Hey, it's been a while since we had a Restless Dead level. Well, it's a good thing because hopefully we will be able to showcase one of the other things that you can do in such a level because there is a secret that we didn't cover the last time and I'm pretty sure that I just didn't happen to find it at all. So let's redeem ourselves and let's showcase what is everything. And yeah, doing that is always satisfying. 
So of course the rule of thumb is to pretty much leave the idol alone until we are ready to leave the level. This is one of those things where having a jetpack or tools that allow you to climb easily all the way back up is really convenient. So this way you will be able to go back. So we have this one grave with a crown on it and it's there for a reason. Because this guy has a crown that is worth $5,000 but that's not all. There's a secret exit into the tomb as well, so we now have another additional location which have been successfully unlocked. But before we do so, we might as well go all the way back up here in order to get the idol. And in fact, yeah, there's an altar up there and you know what happens when we sacrifice a regular idol, but what happens if we sacrifice the crystal idol? Yeah, we get the crystal monkey, but too bad that it's pretty much just a cosmetical difference. Honestly, we pretty much wasted our money, but hey, you kind of needed to see that the game did take into account the- Okay, that is starting to be a little bit ridiculous. Okay, I figure that this one monkey is lost. It's literally swimming with the fishes. The fishes of ghostly dead. Oh, okay, or maybe not. He'll survive on his own. So, where are we going exactly? Welcome to the Haunted Castle. This is pretty much the rarest of the additional secret locations of the game because unlike places like the Worm and the Mothership, you're not guaranteed of seeing it in your playthrough because if your playthrough doesn't have a single one of those levels which involves the dead or restless, then you will never be able to go through it. So the Haunted Castle pretty much has this layout every single time that you play it. The right side has this little decent part where you have to climb all the way down in order to enter the castle proper. And then you will always have an altar on the left side of the level. And the exit will either be in the middle of the castle or at the altar lift. Also, it may seem that my luck is finally turning out because, yeah, because of those little patches of leaf that protruded out of the landscape, I was able to tell where the entrance to the black market was without even having the huge at high, but it's very rare that it'll happen. So we have a new enemy, which is the Green Knight. In this armor, you will always find the caveman, and the trick with this one enemy is that you cannot stomp them or hit them with your whip, Unless you have like the spike shoes, otherwise in order to break their armor you're gonna have to throw something at them or hit them with a weapon like the boomerang or stuff like a rock. Or maybe we're just gonna nuke this vampire and- Okay, <laughs> that didn't really work the way I was thinking but hey at least I have a brand new cape out of the deal. So the deal with the haunted castle is that there's quite a lot of variety in the enemy. There's a lot of the typical jungle enemies and we have this guy right here. This is the Black Knight and he's definitely no pushover. You can see that he's acting exactly like the shopkeepers but he has this giant shield which pretty much crushes the hell out of you should he knock you against the wall. So yeah, our first fight with the Black Knight ended up to be a failure and we're gonna have to go back here because as you might have noticed there's an unlockable character that we need to get into this place. So we're gonna have to give him one hell of a flesh wound. But before we can do that, we're gonna see what happened in other playthroughs that I've done before getting to this. So in another video, I briefly showcased what the teleporter was capable of, which is to just teleport you around like this. But the thing is, it can also destroy you because you try teleporting inside a place that you're not supposed to go in. And another thing that I kind of want to showcase is that, well, you can not only buy kisses, you can also make it so that you can pick up the damsel and there you'll have the option of buying here. You must be in love indeed. Unfortunately, love is kind of expensive and doesn't really yield any proper result. So yeah, I'm just going to show you how handy I am at handling keys. Okay, what the hell was that? I'm telling you right ahead, I'm not doing that on purpose. So right over here is a war story that reminds you that, well, it's always wiser to leave the enemies alone instead of trying to fight them because otherwise you end up in situations like these. Yeah, I went from 7 health to 2 just because I decided to be way too aggressive for no reason. 
Oh, but I guess I can totally sacrifice this one guy in order to earn a little bit of Kali favor. And finally, you can see what happens in two dark levels whenever you encounter Tiki Man. So, in order to round things up a little bit more, we're gonna see what the worms looks like whenever you go in the jungle. As you can see now, there's a whole lot of jungle enemies in there, and the layout feel a little bit more jungly as well. And of course, jungle means that there's monkeys and- Oh god, wake up, wake up, wake up! <laughs> that was kind of bullshit. There was a way I could have escaped out of this by sh throwing a rope up, but I was panicking too much to think about doing that. And yeah, I hope that I taste good indeed. And yeah, you always gotta be careful wherever you leave your key whenever you're trying stuff like getting the idol. And I'll show you that usually whenever you do a playthrough where you wanted to bring the key to the shopkeeper, well, you know... You don't pick up the idol just in fear that you end up crushing the key or the chest or anything. This is why usually you won't be getting the idol that much in the mine level because it ends up being very risky to get. And finally... Yep, did I tell you that I'm an expert at handling keys? Oh my god, that is the worst thing that I could have done. Alright. I'M FRUSTRATED! Ah! Well, that certainly felt a little bit better, so... I guess we're gonna have to try and bring the key to the tunnel man in the ice caves in the next video.